Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, My Scent Bouquet. My name is Yasmin and I have been doing YouTube videos for over a decade now, but in German and surrounding lifestyle in general. But because my love for perfume grew and grew, I decided on doing a whole YouTube channel surrounding my love for perfume. But I thought, let's do it in English now. So let's try. I will do my best. And then I thought about the topic of the first video. And I thought a 10 perfumes for life video would be best because then you will see a whole range of perfumes that I identify with. But then I had to decide on the perfumes and it was really hard for me. But I saw some other YouTubers and they have been doing the videos um, about this topic over and over. So I thought, okay, let's relax. Just pick 10 perfumes that you love right now. And if anything changes, you can do the video again and again. Let's jump in. So I had to start with this one because it was the first niche perfume that I bought. And this is Molecule O2 by Eccentric Molecules. Actually, it's Eccentric O2, but let's pretend it's Molecule O2. And the idea behind this perfume is that there is only one molecule in it. And then this perfume, it is Ambroxan. And this is just intoxicating to me. I smelled it on a friend of mine and I was head over heels the moment I got to sniff her. And the idea is that the molecule smells different on everybody, but also people that will smell you smell something different or nothing at all. It's just very exciting to me. So to me, it smells really fresh and woody, a little bit like if you sharpen a pencil, like the pencil shavings. Yeah, the pencil shavings, but also fresh and green, like a fresh forest with raindrops on the leaves of every tree and every plant. It's so nice. It's definitely unisex and I love it on men, women, everyone. And it's also a great base if you want to make something more potent or longer lasting. This is the perfume version with loads more of notes in it, but I actually do prefer the molecule version. For this scent, I cannot say much about longevity and sillage because it's different for everybody, but on me, it lasts a long time and it has a really strong sillage. On to the second one, and I try to do spring, summer, fall, winter scents, but then also every day and special occasion. But let's see <laughs> how I did. But this perfume is the best spring perfume to me. Ugh, every time I smell it, it's just... Actually, this is more of like an everyday scent. Not that in the winter time, but let's say spring, summer and fall, I could wear it. And I, I do wear it. And you can see I wear it. I think I've ordered this last... Maybe last spring. I would say and look at this it's almost empty and i bought another one because i can't be without it this is armani privé tea yulong and as the name suggests it's a tea perfume and if you know me and you will get to know me i love tea and i love tea scents black tea green tea red tea, any tea. This definitely is also a unisex scent because it has a very woody base to it, but it's still very soft and smooth. It definitely does smell like tea. It has green tea and black tea in it. Love the combo, but it's also very fresh. There is mandarin orange petit grand in it. It has some cardamom and I do get a little spice, but not too much. It has orange blossom as well. And the base is very woody. As I said, there's vetiver and bread in it. And I think the iris in the base makes it very soft and smooth. It's just so refined, so elegant, so special and so refreshing yet relaxing. To me, I always in my head see like a tropical vacation on an island maybe and you're in the spa and you get a massage and the rain starts. And this is what it smells like to me. Then for my everyday scent, but also a very nice spring scent, I have Dior's 
Parfum d'eau. This is quite a new fragrance of Dior and I am in love with it. It has just three notes. It has Jasmine Sambac, Chinese Magnolia and French Neroli. And I always say I'm not the biggest fan of Jasmine. <laughs> I'm a big fan of myself, but I'm not the biggest fan of the flower and perfumes a lot of times. But I just came to the conclusion that jasmine is just very different or it can be very different because there are so many varieties of it some give me a headache instantly some are just very beautiful and creamy and i do love so that's that on that and this jasmine in here is just perfection to me this perfume smells like fresh out of the shower and lotioned up. This is what it smells like. It's just so fresh and creamy and elegant yet easy. It's an easy grab for me. Every time that I don't know what to wear, I wear this one. And the special thing about it is that it has no alcohol in it. It's pretty amazing. And you can see it if you spray it on on your hand you can see white droplets and it feels like a really really thin body lotion maybe which is very nice because I do like to spray perfume in my hair as well and I have a better feeling if it's not with alcohol you know and for this having no alcohol in it the longevity is quite good but the sillage is okay it's more of a skin scent but i do smell it quite a long time also i don't know but the original j'adore was never for me something wasn't right and this is different and it hits different so now we are in the summertime and i'm going to show you my favorite everyday summer scent and this is guirlain from the aqua allegoria line orange soleil and what i smell is really just simply an orange popsicle on a wooden stick and that's it it's so refreshing such a happy scent it has blood orange in it bergamot and it has the woody notes it has a little bit of peppermint which also gives it a lot of freshness and it does have a little bit of tonka bean, which makes it very smooth and a little bit more sweet because the blood orange could make the scent very sour, but it's not, or more bitter, but it's definitely not, <laughs> and I'm salivating. Oh my God, it smells so good. And this is my happy scent, quite literally. If I want to be happy, if I want something that will uplift my mood, this is the scent for it. It's just so so nice and i drench myself in it the longevity and also the sillage on this one are okay i do have to respray throughout the day let's do my special occasion summer scent next and this is crete virgin island water i had some travel sprays of it and i think this was sold out for months and then i went to a store here and they had it finally in store and it's just the perfect vacation scent this is the scent i always take with me on summer vacations i wear it for dinners but also during the day it's it's very special but also not too heavy so that you can't wear it during the day you know but still it is very special to me to me this smells like a very nice cocktail Maybe a mojito, something like that. Something with lime that's very zesty and sour and fresh, very effervescent, but still creamy. It has some coconut milk in it and coconut water. It has some jasmine, but the nice jasmine that is just really creamy and soft and beautiful. In the top, it has bergamot, lime and tropical fruits. And this is what the perfume is all about. And in the base, it has some white musk and tonka bean. Doesn't sound too unisex maybe, but it definitely is. I do have the feeling that there's something woody in it, something deeper, because I think otherwise it would be too much for me. And it's not. It doesn't give me a headache. It's not too coconutty. It's not too fruity. It's not like, you know, Kirke or Eba Pura, where 
you have an explosion of fruit. It's not like that. It's very smooth, subtle, but you can still smell it and it's perfection to me. It has a good longevity. Sillage, however, is more okay for me. Summer is over, we are now in fall. And it was so hard for me to pick just one fall scent, but I was so keen on the four winter scents that I'm gonna show you next that I just had one spot left for a fall fragrance. So I decided on this one. And I've had this perfume for a long time and I still have it in a packaging. Don't know why, don't ask me. But this is Maison Louis Marie and it's called Quatre Bois de Balancourt. And I have a set of the perfume, Eau de Parfum, yes, and the perfume oil. The perfume is already gone, so I don't know why I have it still, but anyway, I do have some of the perfume oil left and this is just, it's just so addictive. So the story was, I went to South Korea with my husband and we went to a cafe and we smelled a woman walking by and she was smelling so good and we asked her what she was wearing and she said Santal 33 by Le Labo. This was quite a few years ago and I didn't want to spend the Le Labo money. It was such a high price point so I was looking for alternatives and I tried everything and nothing was quite like it. A lot of times it was very sharp. Actually like I was turned off by a lot of them and then I researched and found out about this one and it was supposed to smell similar. So I ordered it and back then I think there was just one store that had the Maison Louis Marie line. And to me it's almost better than Santal 33. To me. I have Santal 33 uh, in my collection now but I still chose this one just because to me it's a little bit more smooth and creamy and a lot of people smell like a pickle note in Santo 33 and I think this doesn't have it. I mean the other one doesn't have it to me, I don't smell it but it's a little bit more sharp to me and this is not so. So I would take a guess that a lot of people would like this scent. So what's in it? There's a lot of woods in it and spices. It has cedar wood in it, sandalwood, cinnamon, nutmeg, vetiver and amber wood. It is very woody and spicy, but the sandalwood makes it so creamy. I would also guess that there's something else that is very creamy in it, but maybe it's just a very strong creamy sandalwood. It's the epitome of fall. It's just very cozy and smells spicy, woody. The only downfall is longevity and sillage because Santal 33 is a beast. It's so long lasting and has such a big sillage. And this one is more quiet. It is more smooth to me, but also the longevity is not the best and also the sillage is not the best, but I would overspray. Okay, so now we are in winter and I have to say the first one is one that I would wear in fall, like late fall, early winter, and then the whole winter through. And this is Mur and Tonka from Jo Malone. And then the black bottles, uh, the perfumes or colonias are colonias intense. And this is just, <sighs> it's such a nice scent. I can't get enough of it. I had some small bottles of it and I thought, oh, that's okay for me, it's fine, I won't go through it. I went through it very quickly. So this has on top just lavender, then the, in the heart just mir, and then the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla and almond. And this is just so creamy and cozy. It is like the same direction, but this is much more spicy. And this is much more smooth and easygoing. It definitely is also unisex. I know a lot of men that wear it, but I do love to smell it. I think the lavender makes it a little bit more mm, unisex, but to me, I love lavender and the scent of lavender and the note of lavender. And the mirror makes it so like mysterious. I always think of like someone mysterious when I smell it. 
it's so creamy so nice so like buttery like a buttery scent and thankfully the longevity and also sillage are good almost very good but not quite the next scent is also one that i could wear in late fall into the winter time because it is also very creamy and smooth so now you have a little bit of an idea what i like i do love very deep and spicy fall winter scents but they can't be too much too heavy too in your face or i will get headaches i have to have something very cozy and comforting with different kinds of notes if you know what i'm saying so this is trussardi and this is from the le vie di milano line and it's called i'm just gonna say it one time it's called Passeggiata in Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. And actually it's very funny, I bought this in summertime last year on a summer vacation. But I smelled it and I said I have to have it for the next fall and winter. And I wore it a lot throughout the last fall and winter time. It's such a special scent. It has hazelnut coffee and cinnamon in the top. It has tuberose, coconut and jasmine sambac in the heart and it has white musk, cedar wood and vanilla in the base. And to me it smells, I do smell like a cocoa, like a powdery cocoa, maybe it's the coffee in here that makes me feel like I smell cocoa, but to me it smells a little bit like a creamy Nutella drink because it's so creamy, it has this very nice nutty hazelnut and I do smell the hazelnut. There are a lot of perfumes where it is in there but I can't really smell it and here I can. And the tuberose and the jasmine are both two scents. It's the same with tuberose and it is with jasmine. A lot of times I get a lot of headaches and I don't like the note so I always avoided it until I found a lot of perfumes I loved that have either or tuberose and jasmine in it but they are just so smooth so nice so elegant and it's definitely a gourmand but i think because it has the tuberose and a jasmine in it it still remains elegant and because it has the coconut in it it's very creamy and light and fluffy and not too heavy so because of that i can pretty much wear it every day in fall and winter and this is the first perfume in my lineup i would say that i would say Longevity and sillage are to me very good. The last two fragrances are winter scents to me, like real winter scents to me and they are quite strong and they can go through all of the winter coldness and you can still smell them. And the first one is quite a new love for me. This is Tobacco Bunny by Tom Ford. And I have mixed feelings about Tom Ford. A lot of times I like the scents, but I don't love them. There's something missing to it. And with this one, I smelled it a few years ago. Maybe I wasn't ready for it. And one friend of mine is wearing it as a signature and she was wearing it in summer. I would not recommend that, but still I was smelling it and I was asking her what it was and she said it was this. So I immediately had to get a travel size of it and it's just the most beautiful winter scent that reminds me of Christmas markets and the drinks you get at the Christmas markets. It has vanilla and tobacco, of course. It has dried fruits in it, cocoa, ginger, resins, and tonka bean. And it smells exactly like that. You can smell everything that I just said in it. It's very creamy. You can smell the vanilla and the tonka bean. They're just very elegant. It has something Deep, so maybe it's the tobacco. I love tobacco in uh, perfumes actually. And the dried fruits, the cocoa, the ginger, the resins make me feel like I'm in, in the middle of a Christmas market and I'm smelling all of the different sweets and drinks. It's just so beautiful. And this is a beast. For me, longevity and sillage are strong. And the last perfume I'm going to show you is Roger Parfum's Sweetie Oud. And to me, this smells like you are standing in a bakery. Someone's just getting freshly baked cookies out of the oven, but
but there's also some fresh raw dough next to it and you're not in any bakery you are in an arabic bakery where they have some bahur on and this is what it smells like to me it's just so 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 nice raja parfums always has a lot of notes in their perfume so i'm not going to read out everything but it has some fresh notes on the top some flowers and rose in the heart and then the base it has sweet notes frankincense guayac wood it has some oud in it cardamom cedar wood and so on there's a lot of notes in it but to me i definitely first smell the gourmand notes the really creamy sweet doughy cookie like notes and then there's some obvious deepness in the background with all of the woods and the oud but it's not too much and it doesn't get on my nerves and it is a gourmand but it's such a special one and it's definitely unisex and i am in love with it and this has very strong longevity and sillage so these are the 10 perfumes i chose the 10 perfumes for life i'm very happy with my decisions so i would love to know your 10 perfumes for life at least for right now and i hope you will tune in to the next video until then bye